Hi guys, since it's Halloween, this is my treat for you. Today we are going to make a ghost holding a balloon. Let's start with the white fondant and make it into a teardrop shape. So what are your plans for this Halloween guys? Well, you know, as a baker and a cake decorator, this is one of the busiest time of the year. Anyway, back to work. Remove excess fondant if you think that it's too big. Use the palm of your hand to make it as smooth as possible. Cut it in half until the middle part. This way, it will be easier to put the wire inside. I have made this beforehand. It's a wire, a straight wire with something sticking up because he will be holding a balloon in the end. This will be the skeleton of our ghost. And then put the wire inside. And try to close any visible gap. At the end, create like a pointed one, like his feet or something. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, but it will look something like this. And then, now our wire is too straight for me, so I just want to bend it as I want. Bend your topper. Depending on the shape or position that you want your ghost to have. But of course, try to be as gentle as possible. This trick that I'm showing you right now is like magic. Because it will remove the cut lines. When you want to reshape it, holding the whole topper with your whole hand will help it from not breaking apart. Using a ball tool, we will now create the hollow part of the eye. It's best to do it now when the fondant is not yet too hard. And then set it aside while we create the hands. Cut the fondant in half. And then cut it again slantways. So this way it will be easier for us to attach it with the rest of the body. Of course, don't forget to use edible water. This way, we will make sure that the fondant will not fall off later on. If you're liking our video tutorial so far, please like and subscribe to our channel. And then the other side as well. When that's done, Bend the wire 90 degrees because we will now put our balloon. At the end of the wire, make a circle. This way we can make sure that the balloon will stay at the top. And then, create a triangle. This will be the tied part at the end of the balloon. Set it aside while we create the balloon. With a big orange fondant, this will be our balloon. When you are satisfied with the shape, use an extra wire to poke a hole inside to release the pressure on the topper. After that, combine it with the rest of the body. Let us now create the hollow part of the eye. I'm going to make the eyes of this balloon triangular so just follow what i'm doing mark it gently first before going ahead and put a big dent in our balloon otherwise we might have to repeat the process again from the start use a fondant tool to help you be precise This can be a little bit tricky, especially if you're not used to it, so just do it slowly. And then the mouth as well. With 
with this kind of design, it's better to do it slowly other than making a mistake. Otherwise, you know, we have to repeat the same process again. When you are satisfied with it, look at your balloon and try to fix if there are any deformities. Combine the triangle shape a while ago with the rest of the balloon. It should look something like this. After that, let us now fill the eyes with black fondant. Create a simple mouth for the ghost as well. I should have done this a while ago when the fondant was still new, but we're still lucky because I think the fondant is not too hard, so it still can be done. If it's not possible for your fondant now, just put the black fondant above it, then it's still okay. After that, put a black fondant as well in the eyes of our balloon. Use a fondant tool to help you spread your fondant and fill the whole eye. And do the same thing for the other eye. Fill the mouth with black fondant as well. Now this is completely optional, but I want to put a small triangle on the eyes, so just for added design. And then two small squares for the mouth, this will look like the teeth. If my cake decorating profession doesn't go so well, I think I can always go for dentistry. See how I'm creating the teeth of this balloon? Don't you think I have a knack for it? Kidding aside, this is how it should look now. And then just add a small black fondant for his nose and two white dots on each eye for the ghost. And that's how we make a ghost holding a balloon. If you like our video tutorial for today, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!